Recently in a Facebook group for Affinity Designer and Photo, someone asked a question whether it's possible to draw a shape but to have a dotted or dashed line outside rather than the solid line that is the default setting. Um, those questions were answered within the group but I thought I'd make this video to help explain it to especially beginners um, but uh, to other people who may also want to try the same thing. Now the original question was for designer but you can do it in photo as well. It is slightly more complicated I suppose in photo um, but it is doable. Now the first thing I want to say is a, a slight complaint here for serif is in the help files. Now in the designer help files there is a page here that will tell you how to do this but in the photo help files it may be in there somewhere about this but I've looked I've searched under different settings and I cannot find a page that explains this like it does in Affinity Designer. Um, it may just be an oversight by Serif, but as it is a function of Affinity Photo, you'd think it would be in the help file somewhere. So if you've only got Photo and you were trying to find this out, it, you know, I couldn't find it. That's not to say it's not in there, but there's, you know, there's an awful lot of pages, but I tried every search thing I could think of and I couldn't get to find where the results are. So Hopefully this will be of more help to people who've only got photo than have designer. So let me come back to designer. So let me go to a new page. So I'm going to draw this donut shape here. It can be any shape. Um, let me just draw this. I've gone to a square. Why am I on a square? Oh, sorry, I didn't highlight the shape. There we go, I draw this shape here. And at the moment, as you can see, there is no outline of any color or any style. This is why we need the stroke settings. Now, in Affinity Designer, there is a stroke panel, which is this one here. Now, if by default it should be there, but if yours isn't there, you can come to the view menu down to studio and then just put a tick where stroke is and then that panel will appear up here. So at the moment the width is zero which is why there is no line around the outside so let me just increase this to there. This is about 3.8 so as you can see over here, we got the stroke color is black and the fill color is whatever color that is supposed to be, cream or white. Um, although it looks pink on my image here. There's also this option here where you have the same options as you do over here in the stroke panel. So you don't necessarily have to have that. You can use this as well. But as we have a panel here for it, I'm going to stick with using this. So, at the moment, we have a solid black line around the shape. Now, the options up here where it's got style, and it's got no line style, solid line style, and this is the one we want, which is the dash line style. So if I click on that, it opens up these four boxes along the bottom here, which is come to being one, one, zero, zero. And then there's a zero there. So what do these numbers mean? Well, this is where the help file would be helpful. Um, let me click on this down here. It has here that the, the first two values set the size of the initial dash and subsequent space between them. 
and then the third and fourth value when set introduce more complex dash patterns by setting different sizes for alternating the dash and the space. Um, all values are based on the current line width e.g. value of 2 is twice the, the line width. So it gives you some demonstrations of different numbers and what the effect will be when you add those numbers. And the phase which allows you to shift the dash line style along so the design begins at a different point in a different style sequence. Um, I'm not 100% certain that what that means but we will have a look. So at the moment we have 1 and 1. Let me zoom in slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that first one to zero and then that will change those dashes into dots. So I can then alter the width, I've got to highlight that layer, alter the width, if I lower it down you can't really see that they're dots and as I raise it up as you can see the dots will get bigger. Now this is where you need to you do need to keep an eye on this. So if where I've got it at the moment, which is twenty three point one. See so it looks pretty much okay. If I just move this slightly, as you can see uh, I've gone down to twenty point three. Those two dots there and those two dots there, they're not separated, they're sort of overlapping. So if you're going to change the width and you're using dots or dashes, you just do need to keep an eye on finding a point where you're not getting any overlap. See that one, that's not too bad, there's slight overlap just up here, but that's on 26.6. .6. So if you're going to change the width, that's something you sort of need to keep an eye on. So let me just reduce this down a bit so it's not so... Still got a bit of overlap at the top there. It's very difficult to a certain degree to get it exactly right. There's a slight overlapping of s there, but I'll leave that on S0 and 1. So again, let me introduce that 1 back into this first line. So that will change them from circles into a more dash like shape. Let me ra raise this up to 3 for example and those dashes will now become even more elongated. We draw this back down to 1 and we'll change this one here, we'll change this up to 3. So it's the same size dashes but they are, the space between them is more pronounced than when it was on 1. So that's what those first two numbers will do and if, if I just introduce let's put a 2 into this one for example so again that has altered the shape and spacing and if I put a 2 into this one what that is that sort of introduced is different size dashes they got small, large, small, large, small, large so you can play around, let's make this a quite a high number, let's try 5. So as you can see here, the spacing and sizing is changing. So that is how you can do that. And just for fun, I'm going to change the phase, let's try 4, see what effect that has. So as you can see, changing these numbers to whatever you want can have a different effect. So let's try something really silly and try quite a high number. Let's try to make that 20. Here you go. So as you can see, you can make all sorts of different effects on your shapes using this box uh, option here, which comes from the dash line style, and altering these numbers. So if I come to photo, and we'll do the same thing. 
Let's try let's try a different shape this time. Let's try diamond. So as I said, you haven't got a panel up here for the stroke, but you do have these options the same as they are in designer up here. So you just click on this one that says none at the moment and it will drop down the menu and then click on dash line style and we will alter the width and just alter one of these numbers let's try four in there and two in there let's just change that the size there we go so there you can see you can do that in photo as you can in designer so as long as you've got this option up here next to like fill stroke and you have that option that started out with none you should be able to do that on sort of any of the tools and move that out of the way so if you wanted to draw a straight line this doesn't work with the paintbrush because as you can see you do not get that option but if you want to do it with a paintbrush you would have to go in and edit the brush itself and change how that um, spaces out as you paint but that's a whole different tutorial but it does work with the pen tool um, which is this one down here in photo as you can see you've got that option up there you got fill stroke and the option so let me draw I'm going to change you you can do this in any of these modes but I'm going to start this one in the line mode so I'm just going to click on a point here and a point over there as you can see because it was already set on that it has done the same thing but I can change that let's drop this down to zero that to zero and I'll change that to zero so that should be dots and there we have a line of dots just because I've got zero one zero zero so you can do that in the pen tool in the shape tool if I come back to designer um, obviously you have the pen tool in here which will give you the same options um, let me try one of these others let's just try it pen mode so I start there it will give you those same options and let's put this back to being zero 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 and reduce the size so there you have that in the pen mode and the shape mode in both design and photo now in designer you do also have the pencil tool um, which you do have like a stroke up here which I believe you can there you go because it is set from the stroke menu although you don't seem to have that stroke controller um, option up here not certain why but it is over here in the stroke panel which you don't get in photo and I don't think the pencil tool is in photo either so that's not a problem so that is three tools that has that in let me get rid of these come down to here delete and the last one I want to look at is the text now you got again as you can see you have that option up here so let's draw some text Now you wouldn't see it at the moment because like the but well the stroke is blank at the moment but the fill is black and the stroke is none so let me change the fill color let's go with a yellow so that will help this stand out oh 
So, what's going on here? Sorry about that. What I meant to do, highlight that, and then change the fill color. Very sorry, mistake on my part, but change that to yellow. There we go. And then I'm going to change the stroke color to black. So we have the black outline, and so I'm now going to just change the width of that stroke outline so it can be seen. And then click on the dash line style. I'll do it from here, but I could have just easily done it from the panel. But if you're in photo, you'll have to do it from this area here. Let's go back to photo and I'll do the self same thing here. Get rid of those two. Text. Now set the, I'll set this first. We'll go with a yellow ping and a black stroke line. And then I'll go with that. And as at the moment you have this set on none, but we'll set the stroke line. I should have set that first. Let's highlight that text and then do the stroke width. There we go, stroke width. And then change that to the dash style and change the numbers. I seem to have lost it, what's going on? Obviously working with text is a zero. That's strange. It's, it loses it when I make that zero. Let's make that one zero then. Oh, there you go. I'm having a bit of teething problem here. Um, but you, you get the idea. You can change the outline or lines using the options from the stroke panels or the stroke options that are run along the top here be it in the shape tools pencil tool pen tool or the text tools um, so hopefully that answers any questions i'm very sorry for some of the errors that have happened in here um, but thank you for watching and goodbye.